So now that we've been through all of the parameters of the Evoc 20, let's go ahead and mess around with some of these things and see how it affects the sound. Let's go back to some of those synthesis parameters that we were talking about. So I'm going to hold two notes down. Now let's increase FM intensity. Now I'll change the ratio. And I'll bring in my output level. So that's using FM. So I'm going to mess around with the waves and the ratios here to come up with more interesting sounds. Here it sounds kind of hollow and almost almost sounds like it has a hole in it. Now I'll go back to my UV detection and change that to noise. Hear how when I turn that noise level up, it, it, it starts to sound a little bit more human? Now listen what happens when I start messing with my sidechain analysis. So this is basically an envelope that's being applied to my voice before it goes into our bandpass filter. Now I'll add a little release. So this is going to make it's my voice that's coming in. The analysis is going to be less articulated. And as I pull out the UV detection, turning my UV detection sensitivity down. So you hear how it becomes less articulate? Sounds a little bit more kind of spacey, a little bit more ghost-like. Now that's using FM mode. Let's go ahead and turn it to dual mode, see what happens then. I'm going to make it more articulate again, and then I'm going to start messing with it. So I'll turn my attack down, I'll turn my release down, and I'll turn my UV detection up. So I'm going to have it set to noise. I'm going to use all the noise settings that I had before. And now I'm in dual mode. So I'm mixing between these two waves. Now it sounds a little gritty, right? So I'll turn that release up. So the wave that we're getting isn't, it's not quite as rich as when we were doing FM, because when you use FM synthesis, you're generating a lot of extra harmonic content that can be really interesting. But dual can be, when you go to dual mode, it can be very direct and it can punch through a mix a lot better. Now, what if I went to legato mode? Then we can start kind of performing my voice. I'm going to turn the attack down and I'll go to mono mode. And I'll turn the level up. So that's how you can kind of perform your voice. Use the vocoder to perform your voice. And uh, as, as you can kind of redo your voice if you want to. Now 
Now I'll come over here where we are using noise for UV detection. Let's go back to blend, which is using my real voice being bandpass filtered. Now that started sounding a little harsh because my voice is being bandpassed and is being formant shifted. So let's come over to the formant shift and let's turn that down again and click here just to set it back to one. And I'll open up the bandwidth a bit. Because it's a really fun thing to do. Using the Eva 20 as a filter is a really fun thing to do. I'll turn the release down here. Because it's a really fun thing to do. Using the Eva 20 as a filter is a really fun thing to do. It almost sounds better if we go back to noise. Eva 20 as a filter is a really fun thing to do. And you should try it because it's a really fun thing to do. Or noise and synth. It's a really fun thing to do, and you should try it because it's a really fun thing to do. Now, if we adjust our bands, check out how weird this starts to sound. Do, and you should try it because it's a really fun thing to do. If you're a sound designer, this is brilliant for like robot sounds and things like that. It can be totally awesome. And if you mess around with your wave, using the Evac 20 as a vocal is a really fun thing to do, and you should try it. Because it's a really fun thing to do. Using the Evac 20 as a vocoder is a really fun thing to do. And you should try it because it's a really fun thing to do. Using the Evac 20 as a vocoder is a really fun thing to do. And you should try it. So you can create these weird kind of roboticized voices and things like that. And, you know, if you're going to take your voice and you're going to pitch it and use auto tune and things like that, I highly recommend using the vocoder to recontextualize your voice and and use these parameters to, to do something like a little more interesting than auto-tune because um, you can reperform it you can harmonize different parts together you can have a lot of evoc 20s open at one time and it can be really fun now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to run more than one signal into the evoc 20